Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Coming up in this video, I show you how to create this elegant, beautiful hairstyle for type 4 natural hair. It's obviously so gorgeous and so easy to do that anyone can do it. And I will show you exactly how I created this gorgeous, gorgeous look in under 15 minutes. So my hair has been in a stretch state for uh, almost a week now and I have been wearing it primarily in a bun, moisturizing it, mainly applying oil to it. And has just been doing some styling videos for you all so just enjoy all the videos coming up in this series where it's just styles on stretched out natural 4b hair i've also done a lens check which i will add the link up there for you to see it and also i've done um a journey video hair journey video showing you how far my hair has come it's been a, a long journey trying to grow out my natural type 4 hair I've learned a lot along the way, hence why I created this YouTube channel where I can share knowledge with you all and you can learn and you can grow out your type 4 natural 4B, 4C hair. So let's get into the styling of the video. It's a simple um, side part. You can choose which side you prefer for your um, for your front cornrow um, to go. I just chose a random side and I think that is my going across to my right you can choose your left obviously it makes no difference to the style it's just your preference and your face shape and where you tend to have your interest point okay so this is a part from um from the top of my eyebrow down to um just above my ears and i'm going to go ahead and i don't tend to clip my hair back i've been doing my hair since um for about 20 odd years now and so i don't tend to clip hair away um while i cornrow and the cornrow parts doesn't have to be too neat for this style. You will see why um, in a minute because that's that that's not parted very straight. I don't tend to comb through my hair very much. As you can see, that's just the way I prefer my hair. It's very thick at the root. And for this cornrow, you're going to start very tight, very close together for the start of it. So as you can see there, it's very, very tight. I've gone ahead and slowed it down just so you can see what I'm talking about. So right, just to make it a bit neater, right at the start of the corner, you want to grip the hair as firm and as tight as possible. Now, as you continue to corner down the hair, you want to sort of start letting go of the hair. So it's a very much, much more looser corner. Just sort of just let your hand, the bottom part of your hand, just grab the hair and just let it be as loose as possible because that looseness will allow the braid to look very, very, very thick. So as you can see how I am moving my hand, and you'll be able to create this look don't worry if you're not able to get it perfect um, with braiding trial and error and practice makes perfect so don't beat yourself too much if you don't get it just go back and re-watch this video and see how I'm doing it I'm just making sure that as I grab the hair it's very 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 loose because I do want to have that big gorgeous uh, chunky braided hair at the front I don't want it to be tight if I really wanted just a normal cornrow I would have just cornrowed down and be finished by now but I'm very being very careful to make sure that as I go down, I'm only grabbing the hair and making it very, very, very loose. So just try it and see how you get on with installing that. And I will continue to braid all the way down the hair. as you can see from that close-up it's precisely what i'm saying if you grab just the root um, of the start of the hair you will see that it's much much more neater at the front and then the loose the looseness allows it to look a lot thicker okay so now onto the back as you said as i said to you this hairstyle is very very quick it can be done in 15 minutes if you're good at braiding uh, if you braid very fast so there's my trusted round clip and I'm just going to go ahead and secure the back into a ponytail. Now, I think that this is perfectly okay to wear as a hairstyle. Just like this, without anything else. Just put the, the, the clip in and you're ready to go. I think that looks absolutely gorgeous without anything else. I would actually just go out like that if I was in a rush. But I am going to go ahead and install some twists. Just because this is an elegant 
out up to you don't want to be going to an elegant event worrying if your af your hair is going to revert back and turn into an afro so uh twisting it is a is a good safe bet to make sure that it will stay in place so i'm doing very very loose twists so that i get a nice big chunky bun at the back so go ahead and twist your hair all the way down and as you can see i'm still fluffing out that corner making sure that it's nice and chunky right now on to pinning and styling those twists it's up to you you can actually decide to pin this anyhow you like you could just decide to put in an elastic band at the end of it and, and that's it those those twists won't revert but um i decided to pin the bottom one up and pin the top one down i felt that that was the best thing and it sort of looked like uh sort of like i actually made a big plait at the back i actually like the way it turned out so the bottom one goes to the top and the top one to the bottom and there you are the bulk of the style is actually finished now i'm just going to take my nice ball brush and i'm going to give my hair just a little brush in just to make sure it's neat i'm not going to be putting any gel or anything like that because as i said to you i'm going to be quite, doing quite a few styles this week and i don't really want to have to wash my hair in between there you are absolutely gorgeous and didn't take very much time to style my natural 4b 4c hair okay so because it is an elegant um updo i'm not just gonna leave it like that although it's perfectly fine to wear like that i would literally step out like that going to work and feeling that i look absolutely gorgeous it's it's fine but i am going to jazz it up a bit because it is an elegant updo and i told you all i had a whole of wonderful beautiful hair accessories which will be featuring in my videos and i'm sure you will really like i'm sure you really like this series of videos coming up with these hair accessories so now it's just about finding your perfect preference where you'd like that clip to go for me i thought it looked really really nice just above my ear it's absolutely gorgeous this clip it's very heavy well made and lovely and i got a bundle of beautiful different all sorts of accessories which i'm i'm telling you i'm going to be making some beautiful videos for you all so just stay tuned subscribe if you haven't done so i make videos on type 4 natural hair and some lifestyle videos and so i tried to actually put it in the braid just to secure the braid but the braid was too thick and it wasn't having it so I decided that at the top of my ear was the perfect place. And as I said, this is perfectly, this is good enough. This is actually a great bridal hairstyle. I think if you don't want to make too much fuss on your big day, this is absolutely fine bride as a bridal hairstyle or even as a um, bridesmaid's hairstyle or even as a wedding guest hairstyle. I think that that's absolutely fine. It looks gorgeous and beautiful. Okay. And so because I do have quite a few accessories, I thought, is this finished? Am I happy with that? Is it done? Is that side looking a bit bare? And I actually thought, yes, it looks a bit bare. And I actually tried to find something else to jazz it up with. I found that beautiful one. And I think if I was the bride or the chief bridesmaid, I would go ahead and use that hair accessory. Um, I thought that looked absolutely gorgeous as well, just above the corner. Okay. And as I said to you, there is lots and lots of uh, accessories to go through. So we're going to have quite a lot of fun on this channel. I found these two pearl hair clips and I, I fell in love. They're going to be on so much videos. And I thought just to give the other side some interest, either you could put one or you could put two. And to be consistent, I put them that sort of the same row just above my ear. So there was one in there and I thought that looked fine. But then I thought, oh, let's put another one in and see what that looks like. And I decided... On two, I thought it looked absolutely beautiful. What do you think? Comment below and let me know what you think. I'm going to be having uh, links to some products in the description box. So look out for those. I don't quite have these exact same. I think a lot of these clips that I'm using are one-offs. But I will try and find similar products for you and link them down below. So there you have it. A natural, gorgeous type 4 hairstyle that you can wear out and about without the accessory just to go on your dailies go to work wherever or add some accessories and it becomes a bridal a bridesmaid hairdo thank you so much for stopping by my channel really really appreciate it 